hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting adobe illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to make this cool text lines design as you might have seen in the thumbnail one thing i want to clarify in the beginning of the video the making of this video does not mean that i'm stopping or abandoning my adobe illustrator basic course series that course series will continue on i will keep on making videos for it but making one or two graphic designs like i used to do in the past on different topics is for for my older viewers of the channel they because they do not need the basic course of illustrator they can follow my tutorial easily so that's what i wanted to tell you the adobe illustrator basic series will continue on but in the middle there will be a random graphic design videos just like i used to do in the past on various subjects so let's get started first of all select the zoom tool and let's zoom out a little then i'm going to select the pen tool and make one line all the shift key so the line is straight now select the selection tool and select the line and all the alt key on the keyboard and drag it all the way across to the other side now select both of the strokes to turn off their fill color and turn their stroke color into something more pronounced like this pink color increase the stroke size also to something like 2 now go to object and come down to the blend option click on make and it's going to make a blend but we do not want something like this it looks like a rectangle of pink color double click on the blend tool you can click on the w key on the keyboard to make its panel pop up when its panel is open the blend options are given here now change the smooth color to specify distant option and you can play with these settings here i have found that about 12 distance or specified distance works good for it you can check it by turning on the preview here you can of course increase and decrease these depending on your graphic design and the size of the text that you want to make so there is no fixed ratio you might have to play with this option a little bit click ok once you are happy with it now i'm going to select the zoom tool and move, zoom out a little a little more and going to rotate my line selection about 45 degrees by holding the shift key okay once that's done now it's time to make our text let me just write graphic you can write by the way any sort of text let me increase it in size so that you guys can see it i am going to also change its type from regular to bold and place it in the middle align it to the center of my document area or work area increase its size a little bit more once that's done right click on your text and create outlines from it once outlines are created it's no more a text now it's, now it's different shapes turn off the fill color and turn on the stroke color i'm going to turn on this blue color so it is more visible on the pink background and increase the stroke size to 5 once that's done select your line selections that we have made the blend of go to object come down to the blend option once more and now click on expand it's going to expand these two lines and now it's no more a blend between two lines but many lines have been created between them okay once that's done select your lines and go to edit and click on this copy option or you can also hit ctrl c on the keyboard to copy these lines why i am copying these lines because we need it later on i don't want to create them from the scratch again so now once you have copied them select both of your shapes and go and select the shape builder tool hold the alt key on the keyboard and cut these lines like so zoom into the text so that we can see the middle of the line and carefully cut it make sure that you do not cut the inside lines just the lines between the texts
You can also do the same operation with the Pathfinder panel. But if you have seen my older or any of my videos, I like to work with the Shape Builder too. I am just trying to say there are more than one ways to skin a rabbit. Okay, once the shape or the lines in the middle of the text are cut and we are just left with these lines, I'm going to select the outside stroke, drag it up and hit the delete key on the keyboard to delete it. We don't need it anymore. We just need our text of these lines. Okay, now let's move to the next phase. Okay, once that's done and our text shape is created, now select your text and increase the stroke size so that it is more visible and differentiate from the other one. Now we are going to go to the edit option, click on paste in place, so our lines are paste in place. Now we are going to use it, that's why I copied it earlier, so that we do not need to create it once again. Once that's done, select the ellipse tool and make an ellipse around your text. Now select the lines and the ellipse shape and select the shape builder tool and cut the outside lines like so. Once that's done, select the ellipse shape and delete its stroke. So we are left with these two shapes. Now select both of your shapes and hold the shift key on the keyboard and rotate the whole shape by 45 degrees. It does not matter if the shape is going outside the document area. We are going to fix that later on. Now select your line shapes and send them to the back. Right click on them once more and ungroup these lines. Right click once more and go to transform option and select this option which says transform each. This panel will pop up. Make sure that this option is clicked which says random. Then change its horizontal position. I'm going to change this to something about 32. You can see the position is changed. I think we can increase this a little bit more, about 35. This depends on your taste and your text and also your design. You cannot exactly follow my values. Click OK. Once that's done, group the lines back together. And now we are going to select our text lines. The same routine follows here. Right click, ungroup them and right click once more select the transform each option and i think i'm going to decrease the horizontal movement here to about 25 25 look, still looks too much i think 23 looks better I'm going to click ok select both of the shapes and hold the shift key again and rotate them back to their original place once that's done now now we can work on its color once that's done now we are going to make our lines dotted and also we are going to give it different colors now i'm just going to select the outside lines and ungroup them i'm going to select one of these lines and go to the stroke option and click on this option which says dashed and uh, if you have not used this option before these uh, blocks or rectangles here you can specify that how long or what size your day should be and how much gap between them let me zoom in a little as you can see now there are dishes and there are spaces between them they are all uniform but i don't want that i want there to be some variety inside it so for the first dish i want to create it the size of two points and then the distance between I want it to be 10 and the second dash I want to be the size of 12 and the gap between them I want it to be 14 and the next dash I want the size of 16 and the gap between these ones I want also to be 16 okay so as you can see now our dashes have been created and they are randomly spaced and random in size also now I want to apply this or this style to the rest of the line. So how do we do it? We can do that with the use of the eyedropper tool. Select the eyedropper tool. Now the eyedropper tool is used for picking styles and fonts and colors. Uh, but if you hold the Alt key, it's not going to pick the color of any shape, but it's going to transform the color 
of this shape the one that is selected to the one here as you can see it does not change our selected line to that one but it changed its style to dash lines like the one we have selected hold the alt key and do the same for the rest of the shapes that you want to change Okay, once that's done, we are going to apply the same dash pattern to the inside shape. Select it and right click on it and ungroup it. It's going to select one of the lines here and go to the stroke option and apply the dash lines. The options are already put in place. Select the eyedropper tool again and just select the front lines here to apply the style to it. Once the, all the lines are dotted, now the only thing left is to apply the color of our choice. So I'm going to select our text only. And now I'm going to show you how to apply random colors to it. While your text is selected, go to the panel of swatches and select a bunch of colors. I'm going to select these four colors in the blue tint and then go to file and edit and come down to this option which says script and select this script which says randomness and click on the stroke swatches and it's going to apply this sort of option or color to it by the way if you don't have this script you can find it very easily on the web it's available now select the outside line also select colors that are a little bit lighter the one that we just used and go to file again come down to script and select the script randomness again and apply it to the stroke swatches and click as you can see now both of those colors have been applied to our lines i'm going to decrease the opacity of these lines to about 75 percent so that the option in front of them is more pronounced and more visible and i'm going to increase their size width also to seven and now you can see our text dash line text is created of course you can apply different sort of options and different sort of designs into it and that's really up to you what you want to do with it i hope you guys have liked this video and i will see you in the next video and my course on adobe Illustrator basics will also continue on so if you don't understand anything in this video and it's if it's too advanced for you so please check out the adobe Illustrator basic course goodbye and i will see you in the next video